channel this video is going to be another road tour so this road tour is going to start from slaughter all the way to room okoro flyover so starting off we are at the transamadi industrial layout and along here you can see the baker hughes <laughs> company you can see parboard slum veger halibutton infinity tires and let's just start going so right up on this side i don't know what that indomie house is but i think we just passed halibutton and slumberger they are they are by the right i think yeah they are by our right and soon we'll be approaching the nigerian bottling company which i think i slowed down and zoomed in so that you can see i don't know what this joe ehim one house is I don't know what happens there but it looks interesting so I zoomed in we passed Zenith Bank we should be passing infinity tires soon as I saw on Google map <laughs> because I combine the signboards I see and the information on Google map to just give you ideas of even if I miss a place I might just list it in case you're looking for a particular place you will get the information you need so this area is actually an industrial area as I mentioned before so we have lots of companies here and many of them still don't have signboard outside maybe infinity tires is where we have that Michelin <laughs> if I mother that not my business but as we keep moving down you can see the trucks used in transporting drinks and I think even the one in front of us, or is that a container? I don't know, but we are around the Nigerian bottling company that's Pabod. I don't know the full meaning of Pabod bottling company in Nigeria. I don't know, I don't know where Pabod is from, but Pabod is a very, very popular place around here. There is also like a, an industrial warehouse around here where you can buy your electronics for cheap or where you can get cheaper. Not you know, just a warehouse where you can get electronics in wholesale price. We just passed it. So some of the Rosis Palace, Norland, where else? This place is just filled with drinks cars. As I mentioned, the Pabod is here of the Nigerian Bottling Company. That's NBC, right? NBC is Nigerian Broadcasting Company. <laughs> so the ones that harass our Twitter. As I was saying, this video is being recorded on the 8th of June 2021. So that is the Nigerian bottling company. We have arrived. Etana. Philly Station. I just load it down so that you can see. You can see lots of crates. And actually nothing too <laughs> exciting. <laughs> Apart from Keke's, another Keke. Keke is this tricycle. That is what we call it here in Nigeria. And that is the company. I don't know what that junction is, but this is where Pabod is. Oh boy, drinks. Drinks and drinks and more drinks and more drinks and more crates and more crates. And that is the international breweries. Huh on google map i saw nigerian bottling company so maybe both of them are here what's in those tanks are those drinks people that like to drink beer oh yeah over to you are those drinks stored there i have no idea i am just showing you the road let's stick to that so that i will not make too much blunders those are called silos right silos is for grains well I do not know, so let's keep moving. Let's overtake this car, Joe. Person, 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 person. What's that pharmacy? Oh boy. Kmart. I think that's Kmart Pharmacy. Apex Kitchen. So I'm just going to read some of the signboards I can see, although I slow down so that you can. 
I think this should be a major junction leading into a major street. I have heard the name of the place before, I cannot remember. So there, that is there. We are supposed to be approaching Oginiba Police Station. And not too far from here should be the Obio Cottage Hospital. This is like a small bridge. Yeah, it's a bridge. Not a flyover, it's a bridge. There's water underneath that. So, I'm not sure. I think we just passed the hospital. I am seriously not sure. But, remove. 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 So, from here, we are going to get into... What is it called? I think it's Oginiba. Yes, there's this roundabout where you can buy tiles, you can buy building materials. Yeah, all those toilet fittings, pipes. It's like the most popular place I know in Port Harcourt. Like, there was a time I was looking for rubber tiles and I was directed to come get it here. I actually didn't get it here. I was told somewhere else to go get it. So, But that place is popular for like building materials and stops like that and we will be approaching there very soon just after here i don't know what that blue building is this area is kind of fine because of those trees but we move okay I guess there are not too much interesting things around. No, I can't say that just because there are several several companies around here where you will not have like a signboard outside. Mm. Where there are several companies where you will not see a signboard outside. Okay, that's Chicken Republic, but they are there because I think the tax is just something else. So. They just hide in plain sight. And this is the place I am telling you about. This is the area from around here. You can buy your building materials and all those kind of things. GP tanks. Those big water tanks. And I don't know. Just building material, house fittings type of things. And I think this is the Oginiba junction or roundabout. It's not a roundabout, it's just a junction. The way on your right leads to Woji Junction, on your left leads to Rumo Masi, and where we are coming from, of course, leads to Slaughter. So I don't know, straightforward should be a smaller area, but I don't know the name of that place. So we are approaching the Rumo Masi. I think this should be Rumo Masi. We are approaching the Rumo Masi roundabout. And we are actually close. So that's a medical center. You can just pause the video and see for yourself if you're interested in finding out places around here. But, but, so the person taking me around said, if you are around this roundabout in the evening, you have to be careful. That is all I am going to say because we love our country. If it is not your business, it is not your business. So, what's that? Still wondering. That's what is on that signboard. It's asking you, are you still wondering? I bet that's a church. Yeah, divine surprises. That is a church. 90% of the signboards you see are for churches because. Nobody won't die, but they won't go heaven. I will care for the money. It's not funny. That building looked as if it was distressed from far. That's why I had to zoom in and saw that it was just the design. Mm. Okay. We hear you. We see you. And then we keep moving. Let's see more signboards. What can you see? Because I am struggling. Is that first bank? Yeah, that's first bank. What else? Integral what? That is phone, like a phone place. I think this is, no, this is not where I saw that they have wholesale phone stuff spots. There are lots of signboards here and lots of places, but... Oh, but what's that? 
what's that? This is heavily industrial, <laughs> like a lot of sh lots of shops, lots of shops. And this is the room room of Masi, room or Masi, but people just say room Masi. Is it room Masi or room or Masi? It's room or Masi, but it's pro pronounced room Masi because no time. So this is the room Masi roundabout, and from here, okay. This other way to your right leads you, uh, yeah, I think still to Abba Road. No, not to Abba Road. Yeah, you will see let her go out into Abba Road, but a longer way. We are heading straight because we also want to join Abba Road. From the left is to <laughs> somewhere that I don't know, to Rumamasi. Yeah, that's where you pass like a government school along that road. Yes, I remember there's a government school to your left, a government secondary school, and some other good, good things. I cannot remember what happens there. But we are going straight because we want to cut into Abba Road. So, this place is called, I don't know, maybe Rumamasi still. But we are going to... As we keep heading straight, okay, we are going to pass a hospital here. Oh, that's the government school I thought is on the other side. I apologize, guys. I don't know every. I'm just showing you. So you can use your Google map and signboards. Just slow this video down and zoom in, maybe screenshots, and you can find every signboard if you're interested in reading that. But there is a hospital. What's the hospital? There is a hospital around here, but we'll pass it. So there is a first bank here, and some people just call here a first bank. This beautiful building, like it looks magnificent. And I, I just heard it's a hospital on Google Map. It shows mother and child, and it's just before the Air Force. But the building is huge and it's gorgeous. The side is white. I hope I turned the camera here so that you can see. It's just a magnificent, but there's no like a signboard for me to know exactly what it is. But someone just said it's a hospital, and then I saw mother and child hospital just before Air Force, and this is just before Air Force. So I am guessing maybe I might be wrong. That might be mother and child. So we are approaching the Nigerian Air Force. That's not naval base. I don't know, that's Air Force, and you just call it Air Force, yeah. and this is Air Force Junction. This here you have the plane outside. What did they write there? Ah, it's Air Force, sure. Nigerian, <laughs> I'm not sure. You can know it with this helicopter um, statue, not statue. <laughs> The helicopter, the molded helicopter outside. So this is the Air Force bus stop. We have several of these bus stop, especially along this Abba Road, at different junctions. If you keep going straight, you will pass in front of Pleasure Park. And I made a video reviewing the activities, the the services that are offered in Pleasure Park. There are different prizes and just every good thing there. We tested some of their fun things. And I just gave you like a sincere feedback. I went with kids too. So we had fun for both kids and adults. The video will be linked in the description bar of this one. But now we are heading into the Obiwali road. On Google map, this place says Obasanjo Bypass. But I know here as Obiwali road because there is a, oh, an Obiwali building on the left hand side. There is also... Um, this estate, a very big estate, a very big estate. What's the estate's name again? NAF or something like that. Wait, we are going to pass it now. You will see. There's an estate here. That Obiwali event center was where the Bole festival held the last time it did. We just passed it. It's by the left. So when it's time for Bola Festival, that's a sweet time to come to like the Bola in Portacot. There's nothing next to it. It's guys. And during that Bola Festival, it's just a time to celebrate the b -b 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 Bole. If you like Bola, then you will want to come there. You will see different varieties of how Bola is prepared. And it's lots of fun. 
So we are passing the Obi Wan. Okay, we've passed. Where's the where's the where's the where's the where's the where's the where's that? Ooh, I didn't see it. So, but from here we will be heading over to the Elio's flyover, and we are close. There are other places around here, but I just didn't take note of it. I was trying to remember the name of that estate, but I couldn't. Yeah, it's NAF, NAF. Oh, Nigerian Air Force. I don't know. I'm not sure, but it's NAF estate. It's around here, and I think they sell flowers. There's like a, f a flower where they sell flowers. Yeah, here, there, 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 there. So if you want to buy flowers, oh, NAF Harmony Estate. I thought I passed it. I grabbed it very well. It looks nice. So if you want to buy flower seedlings and, you know, the young plants or the flower flower pots, I know that they sell it around here. And also further down along this road, we are not going to, if you go straight here, you will be heading into Rumodara. And before that Rumodara, you see like where they make a lot of block industries, tiles industries, interlockings. I think they sell them majorly here. If you keep going straight, but we are going to take our right because we are heading towards Rumokoro. So straight, we take you to Rumodara. Your right hand, we take you to... That's, I mean from the roundabout we are approaching now. No, it's like a flyover. From the flyover we are approaching now, straight forward takes you to Rumodara. Sorry, straight forward takes you to Rumodemaya. Your right hand takes you to Rumodara. Tank, um, my oil mill area. Then your left hand takes you to Rumokoro. If you want to go to Choba, that's Uniports, um, University of Portacourt. Yeah, so if you're going straight, you climb up. If you're going left or right, you follow down. So we are going to be taking right because we are going to Rumokoro. And this particular video is going to stop at Rumokoro flyover, but the next video will be from Rumokoro to University of Portacourt, Choba. If you want to have a tour of the University of Portacourt, you can let me know. If I have several requests, I will go there and make that video, but I am so tired and done with that school. Like, I am gladly done. Like, I am happy I am done with that school. I don't have any interest of going there. But I can go and just make a video, show you around the different departments, the faculties, because they have different schools. The schools are separated, like the faculties, some of them are grouped in different campuses. So I can do a tour of that, or there should be videos of that existing already on YouTube. But this tour is going, this road trip is going to stop at the Rumokoro roundabout round flyover. So this is the Elios. Junction, you saw the El Elios town. Oroigwe, welcome to Eliozu. Eliozu town. <laughs> in Igbo, Eliozu doesn't mean what it means in. I think this is Ikwere language, so I'm just going to skip that. This road, of course. What are you going to see here? There are several interesting, interesting things between here and Rumokuro. I know there are several banks, there are shops that sell is it building materials, like curtains, building materials, steel with curtains. What's that signboard? The Redeemed Christian Church of God. Okay. And I don't know. So this is going, we are going to go up over the flyover. I have the intention of filming the new flyovers in Portacourt and bringing them to you just to show you what they look like. You can guess, you can be able to tell like their quality and how much is they brought to the area and just see for yourself. So expect that video from me. I'm also, I have already filmed a road trip from Potako to Bayelsa and this video was filmed on the 7th. So as I was saying before I interrupted myself, I filmed a road trip from 
Hotel Court to Bayelsa on the 8th of June 2021. On the same day, I saw a report that of all, all the checkpoints in the southeast, like the police checkpoints in the south southeast, have been taken off. But this is going to give you a clear report of the security situation on the road. This is south south, not southeast, of course. So you will see in that video if there are checkpoints, if there are any tensions at the checkpoints, how the like I even counted all the checkpoints we saw. You will see all of them in that video. And if you're interested in just seeing what it is like traveling by public transport from Portacot to Bayelsa. If you want to just see the topography, the security situations, just the, I don't know, just the experience then, look out for that video. I will try and remember to link it in this description of this one when I upload it, but I have filmed it already and I can just tell you it was eventful. It was eventful. There are a lot of gist <laughs> that is going to happen in that video because... <laughs> It was eventful. You should watch that video. So we are approaching the Rumokoro flyover and we have passed a couple of branches, not, not a couple of banks. There are banks here and just other stores. And okay, the Bori camp extends all the way. Like I was shocked to know that the same Bori camp that is close to Air Force Junction extends all that way. On my left, on my left hand side, where you can see those grasses, that fence is the fence of Bori Camp. That place is huge. So all the way from Air Force area, it extends and ends here. So you can go in. You're not allowed to, but there is a route to enter Bori Camp. From the back door is here, and the front door is close to Rumola. That is interesting. I didn't know that when I knew, I was like, wait, you mean that same Bori camp, like that Bori camp ends here, the land they are occupying is massive. I don't know if there's Bori camp. Okay, that should be like a barracks. Is it like a residential barracks too? I don't know. But we have arrived at the Rumokoro market and this is the Rumokoro flyover. On top of the flyover... Your right hand leads to Rumo Maya area. If you're going to the airport, to the Portacot International Airport, is it international? To the Portacot Airport, you take your right hand. If you want to go towards Rumibo, then my one, my three area, your left hand side, straight heads to Choba and out of River State into Bayasa, like Ahoda, Ndele, Mbiama, Bayasa, like down further into the south and then my back is here we are coming from and this is the room Okoro Motor Park and this was where we boarded the public bus from Portacourt to Bayelsa it's one of the major parks that loads from Portacourt to Bayelsa you are not advised like it is not advisable to just stand by the road and pick commercial buses now because a lot of one chance activity is going on so you are advised to please board your buses in noted motor parks and because they have those cars are somehow registered and they have a way of tracing the cars like some level of accountability will go in there if you're waiting for the government to take care of you you're in hot soup so you have to do the best that you can to take care of yourself now to get into the motor park you will have to drive past it drive way down and then turn so we are driving down to turn and go back to the motor park because it is on the other lane and also if you're in Portacourt be careful about just parking anyhow by the roadside because I don't think there are special people designated to do this. Anybody, like any group of young boys can just see you parked on the road and they will fly into your car and tell you they are tax falls. They will intimidate you and collect money from you. First of all, you are wrong by parking indiscriminately, but just try and park in designated areas where you are allowed to. So even at that park, you shouldn't park outside. Although you are going to see commercial taxis, those ones are above the law. They park everywhere. I will just let you see what they did when we drove to the gate. Like they would park there and discharge their passengers. 
and not care about anybody else on the road and you cannot do anything. I told you they are above the law, so don't allow your blood pressure to be going up because of those people. You're wasting your time. That is the problem we have in Nigeria. Everybody's behavior they want. But the government did a nice job like making that park and making everybody moving because formerly all those vehicles used to be parked along this road and it will cause so much hold up. Oh, God. Guys, the next video that I made from here to Uniport, I am going to show you this bog road, like that junction, the bad road there. This is the worst road I have seen in Portacourt. When it rains, that place turns into God of mercy. It actually turns into God of mercy. Like, there are no words to explain. But when we were passing there, some the repairs, not repairs, those ones are not repairs. Like, it's like major renovation was going, not renovation, major work was going on there. Patching. <laughs> I don't know if it's patching, but the kind of depth they were digging to fix that road, I don't think they are going to just make it anyhow. So it looks good, but there was hold up. The portals there can swallow your car, like... If there is a way to avoid this route, if you're going to Uniport, eh? See, better take it. If not, you spend hours. Like, everybody is frustrated there. At this point, we have turned back. And you can see the whole distance you have to go to turn in order to get into that motor park. But it is better than just behaving anyhow. Okay? So, we are close. On this side, we have like this major Catholic church. I can't remember St. Watts. There's a Catholic church. They're a very big one. There are banks. A very big first bank. I can remember. There are other banks too. And this is the motor park. And these are the people that are above the law. The one that will stop at the gate and discharge their passengers right there in your front. You horn until your horn gets bad. But nothing. He spent like three out three minutes waiting for this person to discharge his passengers. Like that's why they honey. I got no move until when they were done. So please don't park outside the park. You just drive in. There is this first turn where you can almost reverse and go out. So just you can come in, park there, your passengers will alight and then you drive out of the park. Just turn your to your left. So this is the motor park that loads to several places and this is where we are going to board the bus to Bayelsa. You can see what it looks like. It is nice and organized. Thank you guys for watching. Expect the next ones. Bye.